Hey guys and welcome back. This is Monsen from the MKR Developer Channel. This is the first video of the new Siri. And in this Siri, I'm going to show you how to use the Firebase real-time database. In this video, uh, we will connect the project, which is here, to the Firebase uh, project. And I will show you how to send uh, uh, like hard code, simple data, only one word from the app to the firebase and in the next video we will create the app we will expand it and uh, we will get the data from the user and we will forward it to the uh, firebase database and later in the next videos we will retrieve the data we will fetch the data from the firebase and we will display it in the recycler view and this is will be the whole application so let's get started with connecting the application to the firebase for this there is two ways uh, the first way is to go to the console.firebase.google.com and log in with your email here click on this button create a project and here copy the package and write it into the project and uh, write the dependencies and everything by hand and connect this uh application to the firebase but i'm going to show you an easier way for this go to the android studio go to the tools and here you have the firebase button click on it the assistant will be open on the right side and you can see all of the services of the firebase in this uh, city we are using the real-time database as i told you click on it you have two options here get started with real-time database which is uh, for java and here get started with real-time database cut lane so click on it then you have to click connect to the firebase and let me show you what will happen connect to firebase and as you see now my uh, console is open now i'm going to click on this add project and the name of this application which is fire firebase real-time example will come here continue again continue and here i accept uh, either you can click on the create project or select the default account and create the project Okay, continue. Connect. And your app is connected to the Firebase. Now connect. Uh, the next step, let me go back into the console yeah it's like that but let me go to the console and here is the project okay the next step is adding the uh, dependencies and everything so uh, if you go to the project cancel it go to the project and uh, to the brother you see that there is nothing here and also here there is no plugin and everything but if you accept it Automatically, the Firebase will uh, be added here, and 
as long as the gradle build finish you can use your project Okay, connected and the dependencies set up correctly. Uh, you have a guide here and tells you how to send hello world to the Firebase real time database and uh, also uh, some more data. So we don't need it. I'm going to explain it for you. Uh, here also, let me show you. Uh, we have this. If you want to write them by hand let me zoom and here at the firebase are added and on the top this one the plugin uh, Google services is added to this let me add the view binding here as well If you don't know how to use view binding, you can click on this link and watch video about it. And let's update this. Okay. Uh, and we will sync it. <coughs> okay think is done and uh, everything is set so let's go to the console that firebase again and here uh, to the build to the real-time database create database uh, I'm going to leave it just like this and then next here you have two ways uh, the rule is uh, false now uh, automatically and you cannot read uh, or write data into the uh, real-time database you have to connect either the authentication service also to check the user or start in test mode and uh, you see until uh, one month you will have permission to read and write the data from uh, this uh, database so i'm going to click on enable and our database is created here and this is the rule it's here uh, if you forgot and you left it uh, false you can come here just you will see instead of this uh, the false uh, you can write true and click on publish and it will be okay so uh, I think everything is ready to use. Uh, let's go back to the Android Studio. Here in the main activity, I'm going to create plate in its variable. Let me zoom. Binding activity main bind <coughs> here main binding does not wait layout calculator uh, binding dot root okay uh, as i told you we are going to send the hard code uh, to the database only uh, single sentence so here 
I'm going to add the second click listener for this text view and whenever we are clicking on it we want to send the data let me do some changes here to make it more visible I'm going to make it a bit larger and with ID for it TV send data That's everything for the layout and here binding that TV send data that set on click listener and that. okay let's write the code regarding to the fire here uh, we need some variables okay uh private late in its variable and i'm going to call it firebase reference with the type of data uh, base reference Okay, and here Firebase reference equals to Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference uh, and you can leave it just empty like that or either you can even uh, you can use the uh, instead of this the reference and that works perfectly but I recommend you to write a name here so I'm going to write the test for now and later in the next videos we will change it and uh, here uh, firebase reference dot set value and yes okay then uh, after that you can write uh, add on complete listener uh, and here I'm going to write a toast message And that's it. Okay. Make binding private. Uh, let's check it on the emulator. I'm going to install it. Before the test, let me tell you something. Here uh, in the project, in the project view, uh, here in the app, we need this file Google dash services.json. When you are connecting uh, this uh, uh, application through the tools that Firebase automatically this will be added here but uh, check sometimes uh, 
maybe there is some problem and you don't have this file here and it will not work your application uh, so check it always and the app is installed so let's go to the We want to send this sentence to the database. I'm going to click on it. And here we have subscribe click. And the name is test. Uh, the name of the database as here we named it test. And uh, really it's a real time database. And you see there is no delay between clicking and uh, watching the data into the database uh, in next video i will show you uh, how to create childs uh, to have some branches and to have some unique ids for each uh, line of data and uh, export data uh, from like here as a json file to see it on your application in the recycler be with me in the next videos and we will have some fun together okay uh, if you are satisfied of this content uh, please give me a thumbs up and you if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell button down below uh, to be aware about new videos if you have any question and any comment write down below please for me i will be so happy to read your comments and answer to them Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.